G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of the True Footy official AFL Evolution 2 career mode where the Eagles are taking on the Sydney Swans for what is I think our round 8 clash here at Optus Stadium. It has been an enthralling ride so far. We just escaped defeat from the from a rampaging Fremantle who kicked 7 goals in the third term last week to almost topple us. I think we were down by 25 points or something in the last quarter and came back to win by 13. So it was a big finish for the boys. We're no doubt under a bit of fatigue taking on what is can only be described as a bogey side for the Eagles. Sydney Swans regularly beat us uh, home or away pretty much since that, um, that 2006... Oh, yeah, it was like 2007, I think. We didn't win for like eight years against them or something ridiculous. Then we beat them... Um, like once or twice and then I think in 2018 they beat us twice even though we won the flag and yeah so we don't have a good record against Sydney so this is definitely a tough matchup for me in terms of team selection I've re retained Bailey Williams despite him getting towed up on debut I thought it's a good opportunity for him to grow and develop in the absence of Nat Nui Brad Shepard is injured and is out for eight weeks so Tom Cole retain, uh, regains his spot in the side and other than that there are no new faces this is going to be a big ask from the Eagles. Massive seven goal final term from last week. So, you know, to, to come up against a tough side the following week when they're obviously fatigued, I'm expecting a very, very tough game today. Oh, Petrocelli with the timely pass has found Crips for the opening goal of the game and the home Perth crowd roars. We resume hostilities. Thump clear. Has it now. Sweeping handball. McGovern hunting with authority. Big tackle. Buddy Franklin. He's not the guy you want with the ball free in the 50 and does exactly what you expect to do. Sydney back in front. Clark, the better man there. Looks up with a kick. Is accepted. He's got the football now. Goes by hand to Naismith. Oh, Kennedy. Finally. A rare opportunity for a goal for Kennedy. He has struggled this season. Liam Ryan has hit him up with a brilliant hand pass. And I think he'll be owing young Liam some coffee this week for that beautiful setup. And Sydney get the opportunity to go back in front. Oh, Tom McCartan's taken a very easy mark on Tom Barras. For some reason, I was controlling Gap there. Oh, Petrocelli, too strong. He's deceptively strong, young Jack. And this should put the Eagles back in front if a strong breeze doesn't defy me. It doesn't. Oh, he's tapped it. Oh, right into three-quarter time. I think I've got away with one there. That could have been in the back or high or something. But either way, that has been a tough first quarter. Evenly matched sides going head-to-head. -head, but the Eagles lead by five points. Possession. Gathers it now. He wins possession. Oh, that's no just made it over the line. <laughs> that is a quick thinking snap from Cripps. Oh, free kick paid. So Liam Ryan, can he find a pass inside 50? He finds Darling, who's just too strong for his opponent. The kick is true, and he has extended the lead to 18 points for his side. Oh, this should be an easy goal for the Swans. There's literally no one to stop him running into an open goal. He's just snuck it through, and we're back to 12 points. Govan on Buddy, up the ground. Uses his pace, moves it by foot. Kennedy expels it. Oh, how's that happened? Darling stayed down, collected the crumbs, avoided the smother, and snuck through a very good goal. It's a really good contest out there right now. Oh, Bailey Williams for his first goal in league footy has been tackled right as he got rid of it. Holding the ball, though, has been paid. That is a very harsh free kick. The home crowd roars. Darling has wrapped up Callum Sinclair. 
and should put this through. Oh, Jordan Dawson has taken the mark over Andrew Gaff, I think has been sort of rotated into that loose man in defence role. That's not ideal. I want Jared Brander playing that role. And the Swans get a goal through it. Oh, he's tackled him. Gaff struggling down back there. And he's run into an open goal. Jordan Dawson has two in a minute. He missed that tackle, Brander. Finds an uncontested player, Stoddart, bobbing up and making his presence known early in this, or late in this second term, really. He's put it straight through the middle. We're back to a six point ball game. And that is half time. A lackluster finish to that quarter from the Eagles, although they have won the quarter by one point. In totality, the Swans were coming hard there, dominating general play. Even though the Eagles have a far more inside 50s, they've been a lot of rushed sort of bombs into the 50 with no real consequence. They've been tackling more, which is pleasing. Uh, we've had similar amounts of possession, but overall, it is a very, very hard one to split this game. Elliot Yo dominating possession with 13 leads all comers by far. The next closest is Ryan Clark for the visitors. Jordan Dawson has a couple of goals for them. While oh, Jack Darling has bobbed up with three goals for us. Oh, he's out here. Oh, that could be devastating. He's kicked it. That is ridiculous. That's one of the best goals I've seen. In this season so far, Tom Papley has decided. He's caught Shannon Hearn napping for a start. He's the only one sprinting for the ball, which is most unlike Shannon Hearn. He stops, he pivots off one step and nails the goal. That is an absolute belter. Boom. Goal of the day, possibly the best goal I've seen against so far. Good, strong mark from Kennedy. Not often he gets space on his opponent. I keep I keep bagging him, but he's been bloody useless for me. He snuck it in, though, so you're forgiven. Oh, Dom Shee just bobbed up and taken an untimely mark on the intercept. Can he put this through? Don't think that's... Oh, no, he's got it. That is straight. That is a great kick from Sheed. Having a good game. Having a great season, in fact. Yes. <laughs> great commentary from me there. <laughs> Liam Ryan with the intercept. Breaks a long string of behinds from the Eagles to put them 25 points up. Right on that three-quarter time siren and you just feel like maybe maybe this is just a bit too much of a lead for the Swans ball spills. Mops up the loose ball. quick hands and they could be away here collects the loose ball going for goal number as two. if that is most ridiculous goal of the day Tom Papley with a second ripper goal I don't know how he had the time to get his foot to the ball there but it's cut the margin back to 21 points and this game is definitely still alive. Let's watch this replay. Boom, that looked like a handball to me, but we'll pay it. Oh, it's a mad scramble. Can he get there first? Oh, he's just missed. Thankfully, hit the post, Papley. He's a dangerous player today. They can create from this. Hacking it out of there. Gaff finds the ball on the move. Manages to get a hand to it. Oh. Got boot to ball. That is stiff. Wins the race to the ball. That is going to be a goal. That is rough, hey. But I have scored goals that way, so there's not too much I can do. But it definitely should have been 50 metres. Oh, come on. Oh, I've gotten away with one there. I had no idea where the ball was. Oh, that could be a goal. I reckon that is. I didn't think I nailed that one, but Archie has extended it back to 19 points. That might be 
a case of too much to do for the Sydney Swans. Thump clear. Wins possession. Oh, it's going to go close to out of bounds. Oh, he's kept it in. Archie ah, with one of the marks of the day. That was outstanding. This is going to be a very tough kick. I really don't. Looks to move it by foot. Mops up the loose ball. Oh, we've won. That is awesome. I had no idea how long was left. We've hung on to what was a very tough and gritty win, to be honest. That was not an entertaining game for the neutral. Not a lot of highlights. A lot of scrap. As I raise his difficulties, is 20 points away of the West Coast Eagles, who are now 8-0. They've been no, by no means dominant in the games they've played. They've probably only had one or two blowout wins in rounds one and like five, I think, over Melbourne and Port. Otherwise, all I can think is all of the games have been good, although you could argue the margin for this could have been larger had the Eagles kick straight with 23 scoring shots to 13 and more than double the inside 50s of their opponents. Elliot Yo and Jack Petrocelli were prominent with the ball. Ryan Clark was strong for the visitors. Dawson and Darling kick three goals apiece. And the man of the match is awarded to Jack Darling with Dom Shee picking up another two votes. He might be the Eagles' dark horse for this Brownlow Medal Award. And one last look at the ladder before we go. The Eagles sit on top spot two games clear with a percentage of 143 over Collingwood, Brisbane and GWS. So that is a very realistic top four, to be honest. Where Richmond, they sit down in seventh spot, mind you. At 97%, that is also fairly reflective of where they were in 2019 as well. And they came and won the flag. Let's have a look at where the Gold Coast Suns sit. They're 17th spot, as you'd expect. And they are our next opponents as we travel up to Metricon Stadium to look to make it 9-0. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you when we take on the Suns in the next video. Take care for now.